Okay. Controls for starting the bike are in order. Petrol tap, tickler on the top of the float chamber to flood the carburetor. Coming up to the handlebars, we have advance and retard, which is the ignition timing. Forward is full advance, full retard. For starting, we favour just a little bit less than full advance. Coming round again, decompressor. We have the valve lift, which lifts the exhaust valve, the decompressor, which allows you to turn the engine over freely. You can see that operating on the cams. We have a choke, which in warm weather isn't required, especially if we flooded the carb with a tickler. And then finally on this side, the other petrol tap. So to start, we put the petrol on, tickle the carburetor until fuel just seen at the top of the float chamber. Set ignition at full advance, less, just about five millimeters. Feel for compression. We're not gonna try and kick it over compression because you can't. That's the compression stroke up to the top, operate the valve lift all the way to the bottom, back up to the top, about five millimeters of throttle and a swift. Once you're running, you can go back to retard the ignition the engine will settle down. You don't want to be leaving the engine at low engine revs on full advance. And to stop it? To stop the engine, it's the valve lift. Although with this carb it doesn't tick over anyway, does it? Yes, and we could say, this is a racing carburetor, there's no provision for slow running, so it has to be held on the throttle at all time.